if everybody if anybody is watching welcome everybody to the sure. publicity team talk donald is uh, uh, was going to make an introduction about what we do we do but he's, it seems he's having issues with this audio uh, uh laura let me ask so uh where are you uh I, I I live in Spain. I'm based in Spain. Okay, I live in Brazil. So, how long how long years you are helping on publicity team? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember very well. I start uh, I start translating Debian in 2010 or 2011, okay. and then I well this comes. Uh, I start trusting, making translation for the website and then uh, started to um, be in contact with the publicity team too. First, because of the translation of the Debian project news and other things. And then uh, in 2015, I think, uh, I started to care about the DEPCON publicity coverage and also I became Debian developer and uh, became Debian press delegate too. And since then, this is the most, uh, the um, one of the main things I do in Debian. I also participate a lot in the web, in the web team. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all I think. <laughs> so now, somebody yeah, some years ago there there were two teams, right? Publicity and the news. Am I right? Uh, yes, but that was not my my in my time. It was mm -hmm. first. It was before. Uh, okay. So uh, I it since I came to the publicity team just when they were uh, converging these mm -hmm. two teams. So cool. uh, I know about it because I've read about it, but I didn't feel that they were two teams when I kept, when I stopped participating. And now, uh, uh, it's a, I mean, the name maybe sometimes is a little bit confusing because uh, we say publicity, but uh, for example, we don't care about the merchandising. <laughs> yeah. uh, we care about uh, uh, spreading news about Debian for the wider audience and also inside the project. So mm -hmm. when there is an important thing to say in the name of the Debian project, we usually mm, write that news. And uh, when somebody in Debian does something that we think uh, it's nice that everybody knows, mm -hmm. we rely that news uh, to the Debian channels. Uh, and sometimes we also talk with the uh, journalists uh, to coordinate, uh, for example, press releases, uh, all of, with people from the uh, public relations department of uh, certain, for example, companies or organizations when we want to do a joint press release or some, things like that. So it is a little bit about, it's m maybe more about press or Mm, publishing things that about uh, marketing or merchandising or things like that. Uh, and on the other side, uh, the web, the web, the Debian website is handled by the web team. So we, uh, the publicity team, initially only cares about the news section of the website, but in practice. For example, uh, we also publish the release point announcements. And uh, some people of the team, like Donald and me, are also members of the web team. So we have some kind of overlap there. And uh, when there is something that uh, affects, some change that affects the visual appearance of the project, for example, we want to change the icon in the website or things like that. Uh, we try to coordinate from the publicity team. And in your team, there is, is there some publicity 
publicity professional, like uh, some journalist or something like that, or everybody is just contributors that you like to to write tests. Because <laughs> yeah. this is what maybe someone is thinking that I need to be a journalist or I need to be a publicist to join the team. No, in fact, uh, the, the team, most I mean, the regular contributors of the teams is a very short team. It's very small team. It's Donald, it's me, and it's you, and uh, Jean-Pierre Giraud, uh, sometimes some other translators. But the content is uh, done by us, and no one of us are, have a, a journalist background or anything. Uh, we try to do the best that we can, uh, and uh, we encourage. And uh, also, we have uh, English reviewers, uh, uh, people, native speakers that review the text and help us a lot. Uh, I mean, it's not a very professional thing. We would like to, uh, to have people to create content more professionally. I mean, native speakers, native English speakers, uh, also more translators for more languages, uh, people creating artwork that uh, sometimes we, we have very good help from some Debian contributors who are also designers, but uh, they are not um, regularly in the team. We, we try to ask them when we need something, and most of the times they, they answer and they provide things. But uh, it will be nice that somebody is inside the team to think mm -hmm. uh, in that way and to so the content that we generate is more also visual, attractive, and things like that. We, but uh, I don't know. Uh, the, 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 the thing is that um, uh, the audience we have on the particularities of the Debian project is so diverse and so big that uh, we don't fit very well in the traditional marketing uh, workflows or things like that. Also, because we are a volunteers project, so the, um, I mean, uh, um, I don't know how to say. Most of the people are Debian, Debian it is, people contributing in Debian in other things that also contribute uh, something, try to contribute in the policy team. So this makes uh, the team and the work uh, a little bit difficult because we don't have too much workforce. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, if I want to help, but I, I can't write very well in English, is this a problem or someone can help me for example, I can write a, a draft in English, and someone else will review this test for for to publish, publish it. Okay, I, I will I, I will explain my experience because I am not very sure. um, also proficient in English, or I do what, the best I can. But uh, as I have learned a lot. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, don't okay. Hold on. No, we cannot see you, but you, we can hear you. Using... <laughs> uh, I will finish this uh, this small thing, and then I will let you. Okay. Uh, uh, if if you are open to other people rewriting your things a lot, you are very welcome to provide content, even if it is not uh, good English. Uh, if you write something and then all the people come and rewrite re re it just because of proofread or because the grammar or whatever or the way the text is uh, written is not very clear and you become like upset because oh somebody is making I'm making many mistakes or somebody is making too many corrections if the, if this uh, is a problem for you um, well maybe we can you can start in a path or something like that or talk or or try to read before 
or other content that we have published to get the style or the things uh, in the, the way that we usually do. Uh, but if for you it's not a problem that uh, somebody comes and, and rewrites or um, corrects and things like that, um, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I, I've read, I've uh, learned a lot reading the things that were already published. So, for example, when I have to publish something, anything, I clone the repo, I, I, I clone the repo, I try to find an older news that was similar and start with that and then uh, evolve it to, to the new content. So this yeah. way I, I try not to repeat the same mistakes that I make in English because the older news have already been proofread by the English native speakers. So this way, the small, small steps, they were, my English became a little bit better. And for us that we are not native, uh, English native, so we can improve our English writing and after reading this correction that someone done in our tests, right? It's a good, yes. it's a good way to learn to yes. improve our English. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, cool. I think I will not speak anymore and let's uh, give Donald some time. Hi, Donald, are you there? Yes, I'm rebooting at the moment. <laughs> I'm using two different computers. I'm running a microphone from one to the other. Live streaming is on. We have, we have some, 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 some echo, echo now. now. Hi. Hello, with the old school microphone. We are we are have some echo. Do you still hear the echo? Yeah. Let me see. Ah, oh, it's okay now. Oh, okay. Should be good. Okay. Oh. So, how are you? I am well. How are you both? I'm fine. Good to see you. I heard some of the chat going on. It was very good. I was interviewed, Laura. Here. <laughs> yes, it became an interview. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> so, Donald, where are you? I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Cool. Let me just plug in my headphones so we get less echo. Yes. I was reading the the part meanwhile. Sorry. No, no. I mean, I was reading the the part where people are ah. uh, yeah. meanwhile. Okay. Someone settled. Cool. Last year, I met Donald here in Curitiba on, yes. at DebConf 19. It was great to meet you personally. Laura, I, I don't know, I don't meet her, her personally yet, <laughs> just for video and the tests. Yes, uh, 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 since we are in different continents, it's very yes. hard uh, to find, for example, the the time and motivation and money and whatever to to make a team sprint. Uh, last year I went to to the mini that conf in Marseille, ah, uh, yes. and I could meet uh, Thomas Vincent and Jean Pierre Giraud. I I hope I said well his name, uh, and we were talking about the team and how can people get more involved and so on. Um, I also um, met uh, Alban Vidal, who is caring about the merchandising part in the website. And sometimes he also contributes to the publicity team. Uh, but uh, it's, I think in, we never had a whole team meeting. This is the first one. <laughs> Also, to one of the points that Laura was making, it is somewhat difficult to have meetings because we're spread across the world in so many different time zones. So, you know, we really rely a lot on IRC to kind of get things 
moving in any direction whatsoever or anything else, I, it is very difficult, I think, sometimes to, to kind of all come together at one central point. So I am overjoyed that this is actually happening today. Yeah, very nice. So we have some topics that we wrote on the pad, right? Some ideas for discussion. Let me pull the pad up. Okay. I went to Hamburg last year, some few weeks after Deb, mini DebConf Marcel. So I was there, but Laura was not. <laughs> I think two weeks, two weeks after Marcel. Hmm. It was very nice. I I am happy if people of the any of the teams and the fellow publicity team meet uh, without me. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, some I assume that sometimes it's difficult to have uh, meetings because of timetables and things like that. And uh, one of the things that I wrote in the past uh, was that what about maybe we could uh, arrange some regular meetings in RC to maybe not discuss just to come together and advance work uh, and i think for example in my case i think it, that would help me to find the time and to sit down and to put my time on the publicity things that i have pending uh, but uh, on the other side some People don't like uh, this having a timetable or regular things and prefer to just uh, contribute to Debian when they can. So I was I was a little bit uh, reluctant to promote regular meetings of the team. But maybe we should. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to to ask here and see what people think. Yeah, I think so. D did you think in some regularity, like one 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 per month or some days after? Did you think in some regularity? I I don't know. I think one one put one time at least one per month, and maybe mm -hmm. another uh, or uh, for just. Uh, advanced things or I don't know. I really don't know because I am also, my, my timetable is uh, sometimes it's not regular and I don't know if I can attend myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can so, imagine. And uh, other people who work in, writing in the path, uh, how could we get relevant source to bring helpful info on the Debian communication channels. Well, uh, I have I had one idea that is in my head since some time, but I don't know if it is good idea or not. Uh, I have the idea of the uh, Debian uh, ambassadors, or I don't know the name in English. When you send somebody to one country and they covered the news of that country and things like that. Uh, I think we could make a list of the teams or areas that people like. For example, I am in, in the outreach team already, and I am in the web team already, and I am in the, um, in the Debian diversity team already well not mm, just lurking there but uh, i am i mean if something happens in those areas i know and i can write something or say something to the wider audience but for example i am not in debian user i am not in in the debian games for example i i i don't i don't participate there and uh, i thought that maybe other uh publicity member is genuinely interested in debian games and can be our ambassador there and just have in mind that if something comes from that team that is uh, nice come to the i mean write something for the publicity team uh, but i don't know because i don't know the areas where people are interested 
and also we are very few so i don't know if we could cover each more or we should ask make a, a big call general to the project to all the team all the team's member please help the publicity team please write things uh, for the um, debian blog instead of your personal or in addition to your personal blogs. I mean, mm. it's also, it's okay if people want to share in their blogs or in their uh, social uh, networks uh, with their individual accounts, but... Uh, what what happens if some Debian team wants to publish some tests, uh, for example, about some new release or something about their teams? What can you do for 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 the publishing team? Use this test. We usually uh, we are usually happy to to uh, to review a draft for the for example for the Debian block, but uh, I think they should start at least uh, the initial draft because they know the the details we don't know uh, so some, and uh, we also don't like for example some people send mail to debian devil announce about a web about a team sprint for example the people in the pearl team or the people in the whatever uh, all the Debian team, they send a report to the Debian Devil Announce. If they provide even the same um, text as a, as a Debian article, we publish it. But if they don't say anything, we publish a micro news linking to the mail. Mm -hmm. Cool. If they provide a photo, we publish the article in the Debian blog, including the photo. But if they don't say anything, I mean, it's difficult for us to go behind every Debian team. Hey, you did a sprint. Come bring a photo. <laughs> we want to publish an article. Uh, I mean, maybe we can do it. Maybe we should do it. But I feel a little bit shy to go and push in that way. It is a bit difficult because we have to, am I echoing? No, no it's no. okay. okay. Um, it is, the Debian is large, I mean, it's very, very, it's larger than most people think, I think even for us inside of Debian to realize how large the organization is. So it's hard for us really to kind of find every little bit of news to, to talk about. Sometimes we, we see things and we are aware of them and then we forget that everyone else is not always aware of them. So we really do rely on people saying that they've done an activity in Debian or towards something and we will absolutely publish it. Uh, because I think, the, so the better solution for a team is starting to write some draft because they know better than us about what they are doing for in on this team, inside this team, right? Exactly. We, we can't follow everybody to know what is going on with all the teams in Debian. Yes. And uh, even they don't know to need to know, nobody needs to know the um, infrastructure that we use to publish. I mean, for example, uh, if you want to publish a, a, an article in the Debian blog, in Beats Debian org, uh, you can do in many ways. You can open a path, an asset path or a spam in storm Debian net and write there and then we can turn it into a, a, a markdown and uh, in the add it to the repo, or you can clone the repo and commit yourself or add your file in the, I mean, it depends on how people likes to, to, to work. Uh, we also, we just need more or less the, the initial draft, the tip title, the authors, and the unexpected uh, day, uh, date to publish. But in the rest, I mean, the, the way that we 
uh, elaborate the content or you elaborate the content is not uh, important. You can use the one that you want and later we can translate it to the corresponding uh, format in our bits repo or the DPN or whatever. And I would say also on that same point when doing the drafts, if it's very or slightly technical that the, the author should definitely include that information. Uh, we don't mind having to follow up, but sometimes it's a little outside of our purview. Um, myself, I don't program, so some things can be a bit uh, daunting for me to kind of re report on. So it's always nice to have the ability to contact the person who initially wrote the draft. So if they can kind of make themselves available or maybe over expand in the article that they want to put forth, that would also be uh, great and encouraging for us as well to get that news out. And Donald, what, chain, what official? Channels we have on publicity team to publish uh, about Debian. Can you tell us? We have the micro news, which is um, like very, very quick. I don't want to say bits, but bits is something else also, but very little quick bits of information that we need to get out very quickly. Uh, bits we use as the official blog of the project. So that will be where you'll find like uh, official information that comes forth from us. We have the DPN the Debian Project News, which uh, I have been the person responsible for the holdup on, but it's more so moved to an archival um, use uh, because of the other news outlets that we have are really pushing so forth, I'm sorry, pushing forth most of the news. So by the time people do read the DPN, the news is already two, three weeks old, which an in internet time is pretty much like years old. Cool. Laura? someone else would like to to add uh, yes uh, we also publish some um, announcements uh, in the website and also mail them uh, to Debian news uh, which is the same mailing list where we send the Debian project news uh, but these announcements uh, are few I mean usually we left them for Mm, more traditional news. For example, we published the DevConf uh, closing announcement, uh, summarizing what DevConf has been and so on. But this is also published in Bits Debian Org as a Bits article and also micro news. Uh, we publish the, the obituaries when we learn about somebody that passed by. Unfortunately, we like to express uh, our condolence in some way, and this we we want this kind of information to stay in the website for a long time. So we publish it as announcement, and sometimes, for example, important donations or big partnerships with between Debian and other organizations. Uh, we publish uh, it at, as announcement in the website. Uh, but uh, most of the usual daily or normal news are published via uh, micro news when the source of uh, information is in other place, for example, in some Debian mailing list or in some other website, or by in an article in Bits Debian org. But we also, I mean, if you fo if people follow Micronews or the Debian profile in any social network, uh, they will get everything because everything we publish in other channels, we also Micronews it. Cool. If someone write a test in, in their blogs, someone else that, uh, someone that is not a Debian developer or Debian contributor, but just like to write about Debian in their blog, they can send the link for us to publish in micro news, right? It's a good idea. It's a good idea, but we we also make some creation. I mean, we don't publish everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for example, we usually try not to publish. Um, uh, well, sometimes we publish news about Debian that are appearing in other sources, but mm -hmm. we we. We we don't want to to um, to appear that uh, for some certain media we publish and some other certain other media we don't publish. So we prefer 
I mean, the, the foreign sources, the third parties, we try to balance a little bit. We follow planets, planet Debian Org. So if your blog is there and we find interesting the, your article, we can, we will probably micro news it. But uh, other articles, calls that maybe we feel that it's not for a wider audience or, I mean, we decide. <laughs> Yeah, we just we need to read before and think about that. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. it depends on many things. Sometimes we there are things published also in websites that um, have include too much advertising there, and even also we think that most of the, our readers have uh, ad blockers and so on. We are a little bit reluctant to publish a link from a source who is very. Mm, I mean, too much advertising or things like that. Yeah. This is an example. I mean, yeah, sure. But we, we, need, can, we, need, we can talk. We can talk about it. Uh, I think we need to do, to do some curation. Uh, is yeah. there a, a curation, right? Yeah, you're right. Um, Great. We we certainly do. We we, can, we can't publish like everything, and we do try to keep the focus really on things that are happening in Debian and, and open source communities. For the most part but you know as laura did say sometimes someone will have like a, a small link or blurb to something and you know if you follow the link then it's something else and something else and something else and it goes way off the, the point that we're trying to get out and uh, another thing i wanted to say that it's it can be a uh, one of the barriers is that most of our the things that we publish are in english so I understand that many people would write in their own language or would write in their own language and it's, uh, writing in English is more difficult for them. So I'm afraid that some news don't, don't uh, appear too much because of that. But, uh, well, uh, we know in Debian, maybe uh you need a minimum level of english to to participate in the community so if somebody wants to to rely some news but is not uh, sure about their english or cannot write in english they can contact the language team and maybe find somebody to help them from the other translators uh, for example, if it is the case of Spanish, I can help. <laughs> uh, but I don't know many other languages. <laughs> so uh, I think that we could uh, try to coverage some Spanish, Lang French, Portuguese. I'll trust on you, Paulo. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, maybe, I can help. <laughs> maybe German, we can convince somebody to help in that case. And probably some more languages. I mean, we can ping the website translators, for example, if somebody wants to say something and they can only write in their own language. They can, we can try to find a translator to translate, but then we publish in English and in their native language. I think following on that, I mean, we have demonstrated that we do publish in other languages. So I think if someone's more comfortable uh, posting something or submitting something rather in their own language if we can just verify the uh, translation we certainly can publish it in that language it shouldn't be a barrier to anyone who wants to get information out well certainly we do want to put forth as many things in english as possible i don't think the language necessarily needs to be a barrier for getting information out but again that's going to depend on if we can get it translated And, and about uh, Debian, project, Debian project news that we send by email, uh, it's a little stopped. <laughs> I take full responsibility for that. Yeah. Um, I, I really would like to get the news back up and running. Uh, it, it was very frequent, then not so frequent, then semi-frequent, and now it's just kind of sitting. So the last attempt I made at it was to just have it to stand as like an archival um, issue for the things that have happened so far in the year. But one of the things that kind of works against the, the VPN, I'm getting a lot of echo, I'm sorry, that works mm -hmm. against the VPN is we have published most of that news already. 
So it, it makes it somewhat difficult to find sources that we can actually add into it. And also at the very bottom of the VPN is a link to the articles that we've already published in the other sources. So the level of redundancy that's kind of built into it kind of makes it a bit more difficult to add data to it. I cool. think I think that uh, the one of the problems that we have in Debian Project News is that for one person is huge to work because it's very um, big piece of text and to review, to write and to review. And for then we split in some parts, but the people caring about each part it, are very far away and we have very different timetables. And then, for example, Jean-Pierre do, does the once upon a time Debian, the Debian, uh, the how can, I mean, the sections about the packaging and Debian contributors and so on. I start doing the quick links, the micro news, that would, the list of micro news. And Donald start to do the other part, the more, more writing parts. Uh, but uh, we just don't um, engage uh, the three of us. So when, when one of us put time, the other are not available. So we cannot find the time to just finish and publish. It's difficult. Uh, so maybe, the, I mean, maybe we could try to be more serious and with the deadlines and just put a deadline and try to do it. And if it is not done, publish what is this done? <laughs> I mean, that until works. that moment. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I live also, this is mostly Donald's territory. So I try to care about other things too. I don't know. I'm certainly a fan of pushing some, like just getting something out for the sake of getting something out. The feedback on the DPN is always uh, very good. People do enjoy reading it. At the last DevConf that I physically attended, uh, I got a lot of feedback and people really love reading it. And here I thought no one was reading it, but apparently a lot of people are reading it. Yes. Um, but it's just, as we say, it's, it's a little difficult getting the whole thing uh, put together. We, we put together a giant issue, I think two years ago like the largest issue that we ever published. And I think for me personally, it just started my like slow like decline into doing it because it was a lot of work. And it, if we can't get the entire team to contribute to it, it's, it becomes very daunting. Uh, another thing that uh, they write on the part, Madoc wrote, wrote, what about some case studies uh, of how people use Debian on the main web, Debian website? Well, uh, maybe I can talk two or three minutes about the Debian website, because I'm also webmaster. Uh, we have one section uh, about users, Debian users in the website. If you go to www.debian.org slash users, you can find uh, how people use Debian in organizations or companies or whatever, government uh, uh, to, to public administrations, I guess. And, uh, but this listing is uh, a little bit old and uh, we need to update it. I mean, we are receiving new entries all the time, but we also know, suspect that some entries are old and they are not using, or well, they are not using anymore or the, or the organization is not active anymore. So we should remove some entries from there. And this is a, some kind of work. I mean, somebody needs to care about that section and it's also huge work. Donald and me started one uh, audit uh, in 2014, 2015. Yeah. Yeah. And we, do, we did as, as much as we could and then stopped and because also the publicity work uh, became more heavy on us. And uh, then two years ago, we were thinking in the web team about removing the, all that section. I was feeling very sad about it. And I said, well, let's make a call if somebody can help and I can help them to get started in that section. And some volunteers came around, uh, but I also couldn't find enough time to mentor them and, or to review their work. 
and and now it's uh, the situation is that uh, some new entries are are there and we also have one new contributor that is uh, looking for broken links in our website so because of those broken links probably the, some old entries will be removed and uh, maybe we should we could try some somebody to i mean to make a new call and to renew that section and uh, when when we have enough workforce people to care about that section we can think about it putting well we are also thinking about uh, renewing the home page of the website and maybe show there some the new things that are coming to the website like the new new people using debian and then not only the the small things that we publish the release points and the obituaries and the big 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 announcements but also small news i mean to have some coordination between the things that we're publishing via the publicity team that also could appear in the debian website homepage but we need man we need workforce we need people uh, to be serious about something and to keep on working on it for some time because at the end for example i am mixing in the two teams and you can imagine that uh, it's already <laughs> big work and <laughs> I mean, we need more contributors, but uh, I mean, but people wanting with their heart to stay here for some months, minimum or one year, because it's not about doing something um, in two days or so. It's big work. Yeah. I would also say on that kind of ask, um, Publicity is one of the easiest, I think, ways into Debian. So we value any contribution. It's a very easy way to get in um, to contributing back to something that you love. My entry into Debian was through the publicity team as well. So I, I have a, a big heart for it. Like, definitely come and join us. We'll, we'll definitely use you and appreciate you. I, f I believe you have to finish because we are in the time. Yeah. Uh, I would like to encourage people to write about their experience about DebConf 20 and send it to Micro News. Uh, it's a good idea because uh, we have a lot of people watching this DebConf online and the people can write about that and send to Micro News. It's a, it's a good idea, right? If they, if they write in their blogs, we can keep an eye and maybe do some special article in bits. Uh, summarizing the different yeah. and linking to the different experience. Yeah, it's a good idea. This is a, another think, possibility. Or we can or we can try that. to finish the Debian project news bulletin <laughs> this time <laughs> and next week and include some special about that or something like that. I don't know. Today I feel very motivated because it was really <laughs> nice <laughs> to see your faces and to talk. Uh, I hope the others too and the people watching too and let's keep mm, continue talking in our rc channel and let's put hands on work cool okay so i will say we will get the news out by i don't have a calendar let's see well next weekend is the beginning of the new month so maybe september 5th gives us a full seven days yeah it's good okay we okay. broke a deal. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So everybody, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, pop and come to the Debian Publicity RC channel and let's continue talking. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you. See you.